If thrift stores continue to grow in popularity, over the last five years, the thrift store market has grown 4.7%. Now, a new thrift store in Denver is the first of its kind in the market, showing how AI technology is reducing manual work and helping make volume business more profitable. But as your reporter in Denver, Jasmine Dynanis, found out not all thrift store aficionados are on board. New technology designed to streamline the process of pricing and tagging items aims to increase production. However, some say this could interfere with the art of putting a price on an item. Inside Thriftly, employees are using what they call a ring scanner to determine the price and size of items. Pricing items where you don't know what they are and you're dealing with literally each item is a unique snowflake, it's a cog cognitively taxful, uh, taxing um, thing to do. Andy Downer created the system which uses advanced technology and can print tags rapidly and creates a description for each item. What we try to do is really ease the burden on uh, the pricer, shouldering that work for them so that they're not looking at like a long list of like 50 brands, but instead the machine's considering and making that decision on their behalf. But inside Strawberry Mountain, a buy sell trade fashion resale store, Owner Nadia McKinnon is not on board with this technology. I personally don't like that at all. <laughs> McKinnon says pricing items is an art and a skill that shouldn't be lost because of AI. Part of what makes this job so exciting and makes this store so exciting is that we're real human people putting value on these items and really determining for the people great prices, affordable prices. Though the technology aims to enhance efficiency, reduce manual work, and support the mission of larger thrift stores by increasing productivity and profit, it also includes self-checkout options integrated with Shopify. Downard says this will attract a new demographic that values convenience over the traditional thrill of the hunt. I just suspect that there's some place where we can kind of tune it in where we're gonna be able to reach a broader customer base and really engage them in more exciting ways. Despite certain perks, McKinnon says she will be sticking to traditional ways. It's a skill. I went to school for it, so to be losing that due to computer competition is like oh, crushing. In Denver, Jasmine Arenas covering Colorado First. Jasmine covers what's impacting neighborhoods all across Denver. You can reach out with your story ideas through cbscolorado.com.